So today I will try the new FT85KS from Flipsky. Take a deep look at its features, show you how I set up all the values, test it as far as I can, and finally share my configuration. So stick with me and watch the video. This is basically how it came home. We have some free heat shrink. Oh, really nice. Also the male 8mm bullet connectors, some spare cables and finally the ESC. Let me say this thing looks quite nice. Also, this is my personal experience. I suggest to you guys to pay as much attention as possible at the followings. To make it all clear, I'm going to divide the process in three parts. Motor identification, basic settings, and control setup. This is the main interface. On top we have the motor identification values. So 16, the number of battery series here. 3.1 cell cutoff voltage and the current the controller will identify the motor with. But more of this later because for a smoother running of the motor you guys should try different values here. Before even starting the identification, we need to do a couple things. If you have a single ESC like me, please remove from canvas the check mark. Then select the startup mode, it's all sensors in my case. Make sure to select the right temp sensor. By default, all Flipsky motors use MTC 10K. I'm telling you, this will make identification fail because with wrong sensors, ESC is reading more than 100 degrees, which is over the protection temperature. So let me select the correct one for my motor. Right setup and run identification. Remember that this will spin your motor and make weird noises. My personal tip is to remove chain or belt for for more precise readings. You should now see results like this. At this point motor is working properly and we have to set the right values according to your motor and battery specs. One cool thing is this power on beeping hint. You can also choose the sound level of. At last move to control setup page and choose your input. This is really easy. Just click start and twist couple times throttle all the way. Click now setup to keep new readings and stop. Done that, just choose the control mode and write setup. Ok, let me connect real quick the Bluetooth module. This thing is mandatory if you want to tune up your ride while testing. Just download the app from this QR code and you're good to go. You can do everything from here like motor identification, control setup, but to me this is essential for pumping all the stats for more torque and max speed. Right now throttle is at level 4, so zero lag when asking power. These are my current stats with 100 amps field weakening and I gained so much more torque and max speed and still room for improvements now this upgrade definitely worth it hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you next